Hello everyone, Tinuke here. It's good to be with you guys again. So I was just thinking about the last time that we had an experience that could be similar to what we are going through right now, at least in the United States. And my mind goes back to Columbine shooting in 1999. There had been school shootings before then, but that was really the only one I remembered. And I think that was the one that made the most impact, at least um, recently. So I remember that quite well. And I remember that we became very afraid as parents. We were afraid to send our children to school. We didn't know what was going to happen. It was really hard. And um, we talked about so many things, what to do. But I remember that my husband and I just you know, the Holy Spirit ministered to us and we just said, you know what, we can't just be afraid, we need to do something. And so we started writing down some scriptures of protection, of, you know, different kinds of things. We put 10 scriptures together. And so after our morning devotion, all of us will read those scriptures. We will read them with our children. So we had it all written out. Everyone had a copy. And the first thing we did, because they were all written in King James Version. I don't know whether they didn't have those newer versions at that time, maybe. So the first thing we did was to explain each verse so that they would know what they were reading. So then we started reading it. So each child actually opened his or her mouth and read those. After our devotion, that was the last thing we did before we sent them off to school. And it really, really helped us because while fear could change nothing, we knew that faith in God's word would actually change everything. Fear could change nothing, but faith in the word of God would change everything. And that's what happened because it took the fear away. We believed in what we were reading and it worked. And looking back, I can truly say that Every last one of those scriptures have been fulfilled in our children because they read it with their own mouth every day for several years. The word of God is powerful. And so even during this COVID-19 virus, even as we follow all the instructions, which we must, social distancing, hand washing for 20 minutes while you sing happy birthday twice, hand sanitizers, coughing into your elbow, following all the instructions. Even after we do that, we need the word of God because except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain in that building. So we cover ourselves and our children with the word of God. We allow them to be active, like our children to be active in actually reading the word of God and it will work for them. So um, we developed it into something like this. Um, I can read a few of ours. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Behold, I'm for signs and for wonders in this land and wherever I go. I'm being trained in the way I should go. When I'm old, I will not depart in Jesus' name. The Lord will satisfy me with long life. I show me his salvation. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. So we had 10 of these. You can form your own. Whatever verses are meaningful to you, and that you think will help your children in their overall experience in life, put those scriptures together. And if you want ours, you can email me and I will be happy to share them with you. Um, you can reach me at TF, T as in Thomas, F as in Frank, TF at OptimumParenting.org. TF at OptimumParenting.org. I pray that as we read the word of God and do everything that we need to do, that God will save us from this plague that is going around. Also wanted to tell us about, talk to us about Psalm 91, which we are all familiar with. I really, really became a believer and started reading that, I mean, that passage every day uh, after we attended a conference. It wasn't a Christian conference. It wasn't, you know, anything about that. It was actually Association of Nigerian Physicians in the Americas. But two physicians had come from Nigeria who were involved with the Ebola crisis in Nigeria. They actually worked in the hospital. And one lady, one physician came and told us that she was quarantined along with some other people in a space. And day after day, they came to pick people that were dying Every day someone died and they took them out. 
And she said she just kept reading Psalm 91, 24, 7. Every waking hour, she was reading over and over and over. And she was delivered. And my husband and I came out of that experience and we started, you know, after we finished our devotion in the morning, we would read Psalm 91 along with, you know, some other scripture passages. So I will also encourage us, even as families, that during this time that we hold God to his word, especially his promises of protection from plagues, from destruction, from all these kinds of things that we are are going through as in Psalm 91. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Again, if you want this, or you just want to email me, tf at optimumparenting.org. Thanks, and God bless.